it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing. Now this week I have not really done a massive amount of sewing. I was very fortunate to have a sewing social last Saturday with my bestie Becky. Um, so that is where I've done, well, all of my sewing this week was done at that social. My sewing room at the moment is full of house stuff. As those of you that have followed my channel for a while, you know that I have bought a house that I'm currently renovating. And I have a lot of stuff in my house at the moment ready for going in there basically and <laughs> um, i'm going to give you a little bit more of a house update in a bit but i'm going to talk about the sewing first because that's what you're here for so yeah as i was saying I, I went to my sewing social with becky this week and there's a couple of things that i said i wanted to get done so first thing that i wanted to do was my sew up cycle 24 um challenge entry now i was meant to do a vlog last monday and i just literally didn't have time so it was the first time that I've signed up for a challenge and then not been able to complete the vlog. So I did apologise to Becky and Karen, but I'm sure there's enough people out there that you've got inspiration from. Now, I did get some of it done. I had some charity shop jeans that I had. I'll put a picture in of them. Um, a skirt and a leather top or a ple pleather top. And I've started to piece together those into the Camden skirt. And I'm trying to figure out how I can use the back of the top for the skirt top because it has an invisible zip. So I got so far with this at the Sewing Social and to be honest with you, I kind of got a bit bored to be honest. Um, I'll be really honest about it. I kind of enjoyed the planning part of it more than the actual doing part. Now I will get this finished but I just wanted to do something else. You know when you've been focusing on a project for hours and then you're like, I just need a break from it. So I knew I wasn't going to get it done at the sewing social and I knew I wasn't going to get it done when I got home. Um, but it is looking really good. And um, Becky, Becky, bless her, was trying to encourage me to do it, but I was like, oh, I've just had enough. But yeah, I think it will be a really nice skirt once I get it finished. <laughs> so that was my first um, kind of make at the sewing social uh yeah not not a success but it's a work in progress so after i got bored of doing that the next two projects that i picked up were my twirls that i've been making my my um non-wearable twirls um for my thea trousers thea trousers by tilly and the buttons which everyone seems to be making at the moment me and becky were both making um our twirls of this now I was making a non-wearable twirl and I think I shared with you last week that I'd made it up in this um, calico fabric and it had given, I had a really hungry bum. Now unfortunately I didn't have photographs because the person who took a photograph had deleted it so I didn't have any, I didn't manage to get a copy of it. However, I have got photographs of the adjusted ones. So I knew I needed to do a hungry bum adjustment and what I read up on that was that the best way to do that adjustment is to measure your crotch so measure from here all the way under your crotch round to the back and measure that and then compare that to the pattern I think I worked out that I needed to put in about three inches based on my measurements so what I did was before I amended the pattern I cut out a wedge of fabric you can see what colour I did it in. <laughs> a wedge of fabric and I did about three inches so it stays the same at the sides but it's actually a wedge here and what that does is it gives me that extra length that I need in my bottom area here. So it does look a bit strange because obviously it looks like I, I mean we were all laughing, it looks like it's like a mouth, their lips and my <laughs> once i show you this you're not gonna be able to see it it looks like that's like my butt talking that's like a pair of lips and a mouth <laughs> hello <laughs> um but anyway that fit worked really really well and i was happy with what it looked like afterwards um what i did after i'd done that was i then just transferred the three inches that i put wedged in there onto the pattern piece there so you can see there's my wedge and there is my much longer 
um, crotch. Them. Now, I'm going to cut them out in my um, camo fabric that I've got. Don't know where that is at the moment, so I can't show it you. But I've got some camo fabric that I'm going to twirl these where I make a wearable twirl in. And yeah, I'm excited to see how they turn out. But I do really like getting the fit right. It's something that when I first started sewing, I didn't really enjoy. But I really, really enjoyed doing this and putting them back on and seeing how the difference in the fit. Right, I've got those on now so you can see my bum is no longer hungry. Although it does look crazy here. So yeah, I'm going to make these up now in my fabric. Um, in my camo fabric and then see if there's any more tweaks I need to make to the fit. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think there might still be some adjustment here, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I think I just need to make them up now in a fabric that hasn't, doesn't look like I'm smiling on my butt. <laughs> okay, let me take this off. Now I have got leggings on underneath, so I'm not stripping off here. Okay, Over so it. next steps then are to use my pattern and put it all out on the, on the uh, camo fabric. Exciting. So that was that. And then the next thing that I moved on to after I'd done that was my vn coat now i shared with you last week that my vn coat i made up the straight size i think it's the square size because she doesn't give numbers on these um the sizes i when i did my measurements it did put me across the sizes um and yeah i should have gone with the pattern and not thought i knew better because it was way too big on the top and i should have sized down on the top and graded out so that's basically what i've ended up doing i've recut out or adjusted the pattern pieces and then readjusted the pattern piece on the top and the arms so I've made it smaller so now I just need to sew that back up again and just check that I'm happy with that fit and if I am then this fabric that's hiding behind me I'll be able to make my the end coat which I'm excited about too because it is getting very chilly isn't it now ladies yes okay so yeah that was good that I've done that I did um and are about sizing down two sizes um but i didn't want to go too far so i'll size down one size see how it feels and if i still think it's too big i will size down again probably um yeah i will because i want it i want to get it right it's got to be right on this because i just love the fabric so much so yeah so that's kind of all the sewing that i've been doing the other fun thing that i've had come through the post is a package of Oh, I'll show you these. A big pa package of printed patterns. Now, these are all from um, So Confident, who I'm a brand ambassador for. Now, those of you that have watched my channel before, you know that So Confident do something called the Confident Capsule Collection or the CCC. So Confident Capsule Collection is basically a dressmaking course that So Confident run where you can choose one or two packages. You can have the patterns only or you can have the patterns in the fabric. You get everything that you need to make up the patterns. There are six patterns and um, the fabric, there's always a fabric godmother exclusive in there, or there is at the moment. And you basically sign up, you pay monthly or pay in one go. And every single week you get a new tutorial released to support you with making the pattern that's due that week. Now, and these used to be due to twice a year, but due to loads of feedback and your comments, um, Jenny's actually changed and her team have actually changed how it works. And now you can sign up each month. So if it's something that you're interested in, but you can't afford it this month or you want to do it in the new year or whatever, then you can sign up on the first of each month. So the next batch is on the first of November. And the other thing that's really good is Jenny has now created her own patterns how exciting is that now i think jenny's got a lovely style i like a lot of the patterns she makes i like um she's got a really youthful nice but comfortable style so she's she and her team have designed six patterns and they will all be exclusive to ccc um subscribers and they'll be rotating those and bringing new ones out all the time and the fabric will change every single month it'll be different fabrics but basically you get through the post all your patterns all your fabrics all your notions everything um so yeah so yeah the i'll, I'll put up some pictures but the patterns this time round 
And for the next one, which is the 1st of November, is the lavender t-shirt, which is just a jersey t-shirt. There's a violet skirt and the guys that got the October, signed up in October got a fabric godmother fabric. They got the um, black and blue leopard print twill that I purchased. Um, there's the moss jacket, which is a lovely little crop jacket with a hood. Um, and there was a soft shell fabric that came through with that. There's the honey tank. The ruby shirt, which is a nice loose fitted shirt. The azure dress, which very much reminds me of the bell dress by Style Arc. Um, and yeah, they're just really gorgeous. And you also get this lovely little badge that says you are confidence and capsule. Um, cap a certified CCC member for Tom Fister. So yeah, I've got those. So I want to have a look through and uh, perhaps make some of these up. I think the one that really I want to make up is the moss jacket. I think that looks really cute. It's a little crop jacket and I love a crop jacket. So yeah, Jenny sent me and the team have sent me all the patterns through. I haven't had the fabric this time round because I've got enough fabric. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe in the future I might sign up for the fabric as well and um, but yeah I'm excited to try some of these new patterns and yeah you can only get access to these patterns if you sign up so if you are interested uh, send me a message and I can send you with some information um, or ask me any questions that you have so that's everything that I've got up to this week now I am going to sew Brum tomorrow uh, which a little bit nervous about because I have a very busy weekend. My middle daughter, Isabel, was 14 on Monday, so it's very, very busy with party celebrations. And my oldest daughter, Lillian, is 16 on, on Sunday. Can you believe it? I have a 16 year old daughter crazy anyway. Every single year, we go away to London. Um, I take the older girls with me, a bit of me, and then bonding time, and we go and see a show. So, we are off to see Six the Musical and also Mamma Mia while we're there, and they will go and spend their money in the clothes and, and makeup shops while I sit in Starbucks, probably looking on Instagram. <laughs> but I probably will pop, pop to um, Liberties because I always like to have a little look around in Liberties. Um, so, yeah, that is the plan. So, I've got a busy weekend. But on Saturday, I am going to sew Brum with Becky. There's some lovely ladies coming from her social and also I think Heather um, and also Heather from the Staffordshire social. I'm picking her up and taking her as well. I'm sure there'll be lots of other people there as well. I'm looking forward to that. But then when I get back from that, I will be into party mode. I've got to go and pick up um, a cake for my daughter. Um, I've got to pick up some balloons. And then on Sunday, we're going out for a lovely meal um, with all of my family and then after picking up my other daughter from cheerleading we'll be heading off to London tomorrow uh, Sunday evening so it's going to be very mega busy there probably won't be any sewing done next week um yeah but I will have a probably a fabric haul to share with you because let's face it there's no way I'm going to be going um and not buying any fabric when I go to look to uh sew Brum. anyway I'm going to leave it there for now but I am going to upload another vlog which is going to be all about my house which I know some of you probably won't be interested in but for those of you that were interested I'm going to share that on another vlog so I will link it up here and you can jump over to that vlog and I will give you a house update okay that's all from me for now I'll see you all soon happy sewing bye